is up guys rothbox here we're here for another sealed for march of the machine uh enjoyed the first one so i figured i'd run this back so let's jump into this and see how this one goes all right let's bust these bad boys open it's weird to me how they say limited on the pack Ooh, urabrask hard to shadows which is a absolute bomb I don't know what this card is. Sacrifice another for Phyrexian. Put a 1 1 counter on Blood of Phyrexian. And when it dies, incubate extra X's. It's power. Interesting. Sword Winter Future is pretty, pretty banging. Grafted Butcher is actually quite good. Um, maybe we're looking at Black Red Sacrifice. We will see. That actually looks kind of solid and sounds interesting. Let's take a look. All right, good white cards. Uh, good. 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 Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not great. Not great. Okay. Um, Captive Weird, pretty decent. Owen Hogger seems really good for the Incubate and Transform. That just seems like a very powerful card. Exhibition Lookout's okay. Negates mid. Order's pretty decent. I like Saiba, but two is maybe a bunch. Stasis is good. Maybe the Mines is good. Thunderhead's good with Convoke Creatures. If you know about a lot of creatures, that's good. I don't love that card. Sacred Drinker is decent. Good Sacrifice target. Grafted Butcher is good. In this battlefield, Phyrexians gain minus on a turn, and other Phyrexians get plus one plus one, so it's a lord. If you're in a black sacrifice an artifact creature, return it from the graveyard to the battlefield, which is great with Incubate. We can get in it. Corrupted Conviction is good with, incub uh, with um, Sacrifice deck also. The process is good. Render inert. Okay. That card's mid. This card's two cards. Leave me upkeep if that player's two appear cards in the hand, two damage to them. That card feels kind of mid. This card's just so good, though. Backup, Death Touch. Uh, whenever a creature deals combat damage to a player, return target creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield, which means it gives it to the creature. You put the backup counter on when it enters the battlefield, and then this has a 4 4 Death Touch with that ability at all times. That is absolutely absurd. Um, this card's actually pretty good, too. Just Swamp and Cycle, it's great. Backup to Menace. All right, so this card is not great. Fine. Not bad. Fine. Good in the sacrifice deck, so it's good to have one. This card's actually pretty good. Anything that transforms is pretty decent. Good for haste. Uh, good for getting in. Stoke is great. Urbash is just a 4 4 first striker for four, is kind of how I'm seeing it. Cast instant sorcery spell, does one damage to your opponent, adds a red mana. Pretty good. Alright, green. Invasion of Ixalan, I think, is very good, actually. Top five cards you go permanent, put in your hand, and trample cast a spell, gives indestructible. Okay, very good. Cosmic Hunger is pretty good. Negotiator is great. Deal damage equals its toughness. Hit him takedown is great. Um, Kabu's not bad, actually. It's fine. This is going to sacrifice incubate deck. That's too many of those. Don't need those. Pretty dang good. These cards kind of nutty. Just for 4 1 1 counters among up to 4 dark creatures you control. Creatures you control gain vigilance and trample until in turn. This card is a, just absolutely a beating. Uh, two Invasion of Kaladesh. This card's okay. Invasion of Amaket. This card's pretty good, actually. Um, we have Stormcloud Ranger and Jury, which are both good in the red black deck. A Grab the Freezing Flames, pretty good. Elvish Vat Keeper is quite good, as well as Invasion of Lorwyn, which is quite good. Um, Karuga. Double Skating Surveyor is pretty sweet, so we can splash if we really want to. I like that. And then Sword of Once Future. We're playing this. It's generic. It's great. Bang, bang, boom. Do it. Um, Let's maybe look at Jund. I like Jund. Um, incubate. Stuff. Stuff. Throwing things in there. We'll cut things as we need to. I don't know. White seems like it has a decent amount of good cards, but nothing that like crazy good. This stuff. Alright, so let's look at some of these stats with this. Phyrexian. We got seven Phyrexian in this deck, which means that card's not as good as I was hoping it would be. This card does flip into a Phyrexian, which is interesting. Um this card's probably not good enough. Maybe some sorceries in this deck. Nine? Okay, so. 
Let's see who we want to actually cut versus play. This card's probably cut worthy. It's not amazing. Brow's actually pretty decent. This card's actually Phyrexian. Um, and how many good battles do we have? We have one battle? Okay, it's not amazing. Um, this card's very good with, with Incubate. This card's good with sacrificing stupid things. Take down. War Story's pretty mid. I cut this. Bird Trip's not bad. Burns Rain's pretty good. Blood Process is good. Negotiator's very good. Hmm, okay. It's not. Oh, but the thing is, if we want to play this, realistically, we need to play the Surveyors, which means our three drop spot is very heavy. Watching this pretty good. It is three mana haste and then trying to fly in haster. It's a three four? That just seems like a pain in the ass to deal with. Dreadship is okay. It does give two sacrifice targets. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I've never cast their mind since sorceries. That that is just like not happening. That being said, 4-4 four, four, first strike for 4 is also just fine. I think Converter Beats is just too expensive, I think. Not really worth it. Um, how many sacrifice outlets do we actually have? Right now for sacrifice, we really actually only have Stormcloud Rager. The jury's pretty mid with just Stormclaw Rager. Oh, okay, never mind. I can also use Blade Processor. That's a little better. And then this actually lets me sacrifice to bring things. Okay, so there's more than I th thought. Cryptic Conviction's probably mid. Do we have anything? I guess we have only this to make small kind of idiots. Removal, took the flames is removal. Um, first rains plus the sack outlet's removal. I kind of feel like cutting the artisan. It's probably a bad cut, but it, I. It is expensive to do those things. To actually play it and then flip it is not cheap. Um. I like Eager Drinker. I think Eager Drinker is actually quite good, especially in the sack deck. This is probably a cut. This card's pretty mid. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but it's, oh yeah, if I'm looking for cuts, that's probably one of them. The creature we're looking at, we're looking at, it's currently 14. Can't cut too many. Is Serene Barb not good enough? Serene Barb is pretty mid. Yeah, let's cut Serene Barb here. I think I'm going to put a land also. I'm gonna be I'm being greedy here. I'm going 16 lands, I think. I just like prefer playing 16 lands, and I know it's a little greedy, but it's just who I am. Just a greedy, greedy person. Um, okay. Yeah, the card's not worth it. Are you sure the sea card isn't worth it? I mean this card's kinda nutty, but not really what we're doing. I mean, that being said, four counters. Just add four counters for four mana and give creature visuals to trample. Like, that's hard to say no to. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know if I can cut that. Like, that's just too powerful. Do we have any instant source? Do we have the cost of mana cost two or less? We have Cosmic Hunger, and we have Rouse Reinforcements, Traumatic Revelation, Corrupted Conviction. Okay, we have a couple. It's not terrible. That's four mana. So we're never doing it with that. We're only ever doing that with... I think we only have Stormcloud Rager... It just really feels like we're never 
going to actually do that. Like, it feels like I cut this, because I can sacrifice things kind of coincidentally, but I'm not, that's not really the goal here, because it's not really what's going to happen. I think this is what we're looking at. Um, it just doesn't look like we have enough sacrifice payoffs to really make that worthwhile. Um, which also means, besides... I guess it's just Archpriest, really. That's the reason to play black, then. So maybe there's a reason to look at... Blue. Blue also seems... Decent. I guess not amazing. Blue really doesn't have that much to offer, honestly. There was a lot of decent cards, but nothing really that would drive me that hard in that direction. And I think this format, unfortunately, is much more about bombs than it is about actual... Like, commons and uncommons. I think this is fine. I think this is where we're going to go with. We're going to try this out. Alright, I will see you guys in the game. Alright, we have to be watching out. We're playing against the Magic God. So... Um, that being had said, this hand's pretty good, so we're gonna keep this. Green Surveyor is basically gonna fix everything this, these games, so that's what we're banking on. Um, do I land cycle? It's probably we're not playing it for seven. We have no plays on turn two right now. I think we do want to land cycle this. Um, so let's do that. Okay, so they're curving out, so that's not great for us. Uh, we'll probably play this 3-3 three, three on 3. Blocks the Frontier... Frontliner, sorry. No Swamp Cycle, this bad boy. Alright, throw that into our hand. Alright, what do we got? Not ideal, but it's fine. Alright, Etchman is gonna hit us for 3 again. That's kind of fine. Play not Volt Harmon next turn. And they can easily have removal here. There's a lot of removal that kills 3-3s. Three Alright, but if they use, like, a, a decent-sized removal spell. Oh, okay. Sure. Interesting. That doesn't kill it. Um, yeah, it's probably not full. Not void, and I think I'm actually just gonna hang back here. It's funny because I can't double the. Now there's no counters, I can't double it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hang back here. Sure. Okay. I think now I'm gonna trade. I don't love it, but I think. I can't let them keep getting three hits. I can't go to ten. Like, I'm just taking too many hits at this point. So they use... Oh, that's not bad. Now it makes me sad that I got rid of my thing. Yeah, because I can take two here. I don't mind this as much. This is not as bad. And that's annoying. It's for six? Lot. We, thank God we gained five life. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. So we have a six mana. Oh, we have a five. That's going to be a pain in the ass of a 3-2 double striker. I think I'm okay trading the 5-5 five, five for that. I think I'm actually just going to play the skittering here, because I can just... Chump. Um, yeah, and I'll just animate the Phyrexian to block. I can. I don't mind chumping their field of Scald. They want to attack, that's fine. That's pretty good, but not the end of the world. Sure, just a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, that's fine. I 
I don't honestly mind just jumping here. It's just a 1 2, it's not really gonna do much. It's got its job done. It doesn't have trample, so that's fine. Turn this into a 5 5. That's a pretty good draw, actually. Which does mean I get two. Oh. Hold on. I cannot put it on the thing. That's, that's a little frustrating. Okay, it's fine. Lay it on here. Okay. This I think is fine. That's fine, don't really care about that. We'll see how they attack. Yeah, this is fine. Pasta blockers. Um, red, red, one, two. Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, no blocks. I'm going to crew this. means I can then cast this, targeting this. Yep, and that problem's off the board. And now I am no longer concerned. Alright, so now I can... Let's... Turn this into a person. I think we're going to crew it. We're going to put counters here, 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 and that's actually. Fine, so I'll put an extra one here. So if they want to kill it, they have to. Yeah, that's fine. And they have vigilance, which is pretty great. Block, that's fine. And that's fine. Okay, so they lose everything. I wonder if they have any hand. They have. I. Do they have a combat? No, they're just gonna. You have gained some life. That's fine. No, they don't get any life. They're just getting rid of stuff in my graveyard. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Not ideal, but they also have the novel for in there, which is interesting. Yep. Okay. I mean, I got a two. F I got a four four essentially, and a two two. Sure. That guy's fine. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, let's bash in. Dang it, okay, that's really frustrating, that's fine. I can use it if I need to, though. Sure, I only for three. Oh, my anger drinker, nice. Ooh, they mailed a Tolly, which, that's a good card. They cannot get that back, though.
that is a pretty excellent draw. I would love Invasion of Warwind here. Let's play that. Kill their freewheeler. Get this, and we're swinging for these. They can keep one of them alive. That's fine. And now we get this. Which is an 8-8, which is pretty hard to get around. They can make a 2. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, cool. That was a good game for us. Alright, uh, yeah. Let's go to the next game. Okay, this hand is looking less good. We have nothing to do until way later, so I don't think we can keep that. This one's actually fine because of the invasion. I think the invasion here actually really lets us kind of stay in it because we can get to reveal a permanent. I think I'm going to put back the seed core just because adding a combat trick really isn't going to do anything here. I mean, it's not a combat trick, but it's uh, essentially like a kind of overrun sorcery speed, telegraph. I think I'm just going to play the frontliner. I think I'd rather have the body on the board. Okay, yeah, that way if they do this, it means that I can play the invasion. Ooh, okay. We don't have a land. Do I just put the Vat Keeper in hand? Let's put Vat Keeper in hand, I think. And he gets the plus one plus one, so he goes a three three. Nice. Annoying, but fine. I think I get rid of my battle. Sure. Well, let's play the Vat Keeper. Which leaves us one mana away from making this a five or four four. Which is pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so the question. Guy just makes this a 4-4. Four, four. And the answer is probably yes. If they want to double block, that's fine. Nope, okay, cool. Because now I can play Marauding Dreadship. That's pretty good. If I draw a land, I can just play Invasion of Lorwyn. So that'll be pretty big, because this will kill anything with power... S okay, so that's fine. Sure. I will block here. Sure, okay. That's fine. So they could have got flipped it for a 4 4 there. I'd rather them kill the Vat Keeper. He was good, but I've already turned into, I've already made a 4 4 and now that that spells out of their hand. So that's kind of a perfect draw here. I'm not too concerned with the invasion yet. I don't really need to play it. Um. I think I'm gonna crew it with the frontliner. And I'll leave the 4 4 back to block. if I trade for one of them, honestly. I got my incubate out of here. I'm going to trade it almost like a removal spell. Okay, this is fine with me.
All right, I'm just gonna do this now. In response, I'll kill that. Leave my thing alive, keep my boat browned. A main deck, that seems really weird. I guess it just gives your creatures Hexper for a turn. Oh, they're gonna flip the thing, perfect. Okay, no, this is fine. This is actually perfect, because so they're gonna flip it, think they have the flyer, but in reality, I have Invasion of Warwind to just kill the flyer immediately. Unless I have another trick, which is possible. Actually, that's pretty annoying, but that's fine. Okay, yeah, 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 that's pretty good. Driven by 4 4 for pretty much for a blue man is really powerful. Do they trade here is the question. Nope, okay, cool. This is actually going to be really good. Um, my sword, that's unfortunate. Gonna put the battle back on top? Yep, okay. I don't know if that's the best play, but I get it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to... Um, see how much man do I have? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect, all right, so. Turn this new 2 2. We do this. We spend this mana to make this a 2 2. We crew the boat with this guy. And we play Grafted Butcher. this guy back. So I gotta flip it regardless. Okay, let's get rid of the four power guy. Oh, okay, so they do actually get to stop me from flipping it. Okay. That's fine. We know the last they drew this card, so I get to draw a card, gain four life. That's kind of fine, though. Because I I can just chump block if they attack. Or not chump block, I can block if they attack. Yeah, play their land for turn. I would have held it in hand, I think. I mean, that's fine. Just right there, yeah. A enormous guy and I'm gonna hold this in hand not no I guess it is game all right cool that was close I thought that was actually gonna be a little tougher all right um, let's go to the next game all right we're playing against someone I'm not convinced is not a bot um, with that being said ooh, we're on the draw 
This is a really risky hand. Um, I think I'm going to keep it. Okay, that was actually a pretty good draw on our part. So because of that, it means we can actually play the sword. Play. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I just, you can't have that. I know it's not going to be for a while, but that's just such a problem. Sure. Thing I'm gonna play this. I think they're just gonna cosmic hunger and kill the surveyor and attack the invasion, which is fine. They won't be able to flip it immediately. They don't mind jumping here, that's fine. So they can stoke the battle at any point. So that's going to be whenever they want it. Um, which certainly isn't ideal, but I think that's okay for now. So I think what I want to do is just put some bodies down. Cosmic Hunger something if they want to. They can stoke the flame of the battle, which is what they're going to do. Yep, it's kind of what I figured. Um, I think that's a correct play here. Maybe cast a spell against Indestructible. Which means they're not blocking. So that's actually a little funny, because what I get to do here now... I'm gonna play this sword. Oh, they can still Cosmic Hunger in response. That's frustrating. I guess I can make them Cosmic Hunger... A 1-1. One, one. I know they're going to do it. Oh, no. Okay. I guess because now they can show Cosmic Hunger now. It's fine. Unfortunately, these colors do not help against their red-green deck. Um, they kind of need to. This is a kind of an odd block for them because they have Cosmic Hunger. I guess they're waiting... So they're gonna play this, make it a 5-4 with double strike. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a lot of damage, but this does mean that I get to tandem take down. They don't have any more mana up. So I do get to target these creatures and that. I get to kill that thing. Which really is like the biggest concern here. And now I'll just make this a 5 4. Yeah, it's probably worth attacking here. This is fine because they lose the, their guy. Which I think I don't mind. I can get my butcher back kind of whenever I want to. 
think if I like if they let me hit, I think I would just make some one ones. I don't think I need to serve anything from their hand. I know cosmic. I can't hit cosmic. Yeah, I don't know if I love their decision there, but I get it. again. I'm not dead, so I don't really mind. If they want to trade with a hopper, same thing, that's fine. I'm only taking one damage next turn then. This is fine. I'm just gonna swamp cycle here. I don't love it. But I think that's fine. One, it's fine. That's a pretty good card. That's not what I wanted to see. That being said, let's gain some life here. so frustrating. Okay. Yeah. This is fine. I can't do anything about this. I mean, I have to try to transform this. They're going to Cosmic Hunger it. That's the part that's just frustrating. Um... Let's try to equip. Maybe they get greedy. Okay, so let's... That's not exactly what I was hoping for. Yeah, they have it. Yep, they got it. Alright, well, let's go to the next game. Okay, this hand, we're on the play. If I draw any land, we're kind of okay, so I think we're keeping this. Skittering Surveyor is going to be the MVP of this deck, I think. Just being able to really fix our mana. Yeah, three mana one twos, you know, not great, but realistically, it's just the fact that we can kind of just use him to hopefully get bails out of situations like this where we're short of color or short of mana. Um, I, that being said, I really need to get it to land here, or we're in a pretty shit position. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Alright, opponent, what you got? Two mania. Sure. That's super unfortunate. Okay, I'm just gonna attack. If they want to spend their mana to pump this, that's fine. I'm not gonna block it as a 1-2. And then let them get a bigger incubate guy. I really hope we don't lose to only having two lands. Because any third land basically enables everything again. Yep, get in. Yeah, once you see your opponent stumbling on land, you gotta be aggressive. I would say, normally, like, you could just hold this back and pump to be defensive. Okay, they're just going... I don't know if I agree with that play, but, you know, whatever, I get it. 
All right, let's grab a swamp. Fix our mania. Swing in. Now, next turn. I don't know what we're playing. We'll figure it out. That's problematic. Okay. That card's going to be a problem. I think actually I'm going to just take a look at their hand, see if I can rip anything out that I need to. That's going to be pretty good. They don't have another land in hand. Get three, four, first strike. Is not great for my deck. I think this card's onto the problem. So I have a feeling they're gonna get greedy with the backup. That's an instant, so that's not great for me. Let's play this. Let's get a little greedy here. We're not super low on life. I want to see if I can bait them out to use their Volcanic Spite. They can also use it that you are already dead, but I don't dice anything anyway, so this seems like an okay target to just jam in there. Because I can just throw this down here. Just make a 2 2. Pump this guy up, give him Menace. Do you want to call, have this be targeted? In which case, it's not a big deal. I can use it to sacrifice Skate and Surveyor in the future. I'm surprised it isn't the Phyrexian. Why, why aren't you a Phyrexian? Nope, cancel. Like, I'm just saying, this looks like a Phyrexian boat. That's all I'm saying. It incubates. I don't really know why it's not. That feels like flavor fails. They're going to kill my butcher? Butcher after this, and that's fine. I'm not like they don't have too much damage on board because I can I can jump or brask if I have to. I'm not super worried about anything right now. They have. Yeah. Okay. So I figured they were going to do. I just kind of surprised they went for the butcher ship, but that's totally fine with me. They should put this in the bottom. This card's not that great. A lot of people really value it, but I, it's okay. You turn, I mean, it draws a card, but really, I mean, it's drawing a random card and throwing away one of your creatures for a opponent's creature and that card. It just, it's fine. If we draw a land, we're okay. We can kill Urbrask. Oh, what the absolute fucking nonsense. Sorry. Um, what the hell? not all right i don't think we win this game i can kill that and i'm going to but that's still nutty Let's see if i can flip this i'm assuming they just block here I mean, we're dead even if we're dead um 
I will say first strike and you already did that or mirrored avenge that's actually a very good combo because you can kill them before um your creature's been taking the damage that part's actually pretty sick I don't know why this is such a complicated decision. Like, I'm dead either way. There's nothing I can do here. Dropping Urobrask and Children, that's just like... That's the problem I have with this format. This format's so bomb-heavy. Yeah, so four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm just dead here. That's fine. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to do it. Maybe they don't, but... Like, shit, if they cast an instant or sorcery, I die because of Urobrask. Like, I'm, I'm very dead here. Yeah, so I'm dead. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Let's go on to the next game. I cannot beat double traders. That is powerful. All right. Next game. Okay. I think this one's a keep. Same kind of rules as we've had before. Um, it's a little slow, but Surveyor on three, Novel Homer on four is probably fine. This format's been a little slower than All Will Be One and Brothers War and stuff like that, so I'm not as concerned about coming out of the gates, just kind of flying. Um, I mean, if they drop an early creature and then an early battle, it's a little awkward, but we'll kind of just have to deal with it as we come to it. I'm going to play Tandem on uh, with any forest, because we need double green for that. It's a little awkward. It's quite a little awkward in our deck, but it's just also so powerful it's hard to say no to it. Like, realistically, I would have rather not been playing three colors in this deck, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. That's fine. That's not fine, but it's whatever. I mean, it's it's fine until they drop a, a battle or something. Sure. Okay, so we take four. It's fine, not ideal, but okay. Um, that's a pretty bad draw. All right, let's get this force out of the deck. Cool. We can not roll the next turn. We can dread ship and cosmic, which is not bad. Ooh, that's a good card. Um, do I block here? Yeah, I think saving the life will be good. I don't think the one two's gonna do it. Oh. So that's a car that I've been, you know, that would've been nice to see at any other point in this game. Um, actually, that's a good question. Do I use Cosmic? Do I just play this and then, we're gonna see, we're gonna see what we do. Sure. Ooh, no lands. If they have a land to play. This is very powerful. If they don't, then it's awkward. That's so annoying. I'm not blocking this. That's really frustrating. Okay, it's fine. We're at a high enough life total. I'm not as worried about it. Um. Interesting. Do I play Archpriest, swing in, and get Surveyor back, which is not great, but okay. I think I'm actually just going to Dread Ship. Cosmic. Yeah. Not making the boat a creature. That's fine. Not ideal, but fine. I have war wind if necessary, if need be. If they draw a land, find a land, or if they want to just play this, that's fine. I'll make the boat a creature. Um, yeah. We're going to crew in response. They get to flip this, which is awkward, but. I guess I could just sacrifice my 4-4. Four, four. I don't know. 
Maybe that was a mistake. Actually, oh, this is very much a mistake. I'm just interesting, actually. I think I have my light. Yeah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. I'm just dead? No, not yet. I'm mostly dead. This is, I can hold this up and flip a creature. No, I'm just dead. This sucks. Wow. That's really frustrating. Yeah. This is disappointing. I think this deck was better than 2-3, but um, that was just a slow draw. And uh, yeah, I mean, they just kind of, we weren't able to get enough stuff on the board. All right, well, you know, can't win them all. Can't do always do great. So kind of goes to show you some games, you just, uh, sometimes you just have a bad deck. I think this deck was mediocre. We never once saw Urbrass, which I think was would have been huge. And the game we saw Sword and Once in Future, uh, they were not in either of the colors that were, it would have been good against, and they kind of repeatedly just had removal. Um, we saw this once. Yeah, like all our good cards, we really saw one time, and that's some of the biggest problem I think. We only saw Archpriest at the very end, and that card is a crazy, but it just wasn't going to help in that game. Uh, in the position we were in. That being said, you know, uh, this was fun. Uh, I'll keep doing more of these and I'll catch you guys on the next one.